Greetings, Earthlings. Yes, this is Randy Jimmy James Bulls coming to you through the Ethernet from Seattle, Washington, with a story about meeting. Well, I don't want to give away the ending. Let's just say it's a Rolling Stones related story. Now, I always like to dress the part to help my stories be better illustrated. The thing is, when this happened, and yes, this is about something that happened to me, it's all true. When this happened, I was attired in business wear. Well, the thing is, now that I'm 74 and not having to work a day job, I don't really have a lot of business wear. I suppose I could search way, way, way in the back of my closet and pull something out. You know, like a dress shirt from 1990. But I thought, why don't I just wear something I like and something that's meaningful and timely? This is May 1st today. And in just two weeks, Seattle is going to be blessed with a festival called Spirit of Africa. It's coming back and I'm going to be there. And I thought, well, I'll wear their t-shirt. That way I can pay honor to them for all the wonderful, wonderful times I spent at their, at their festival. But no, I, I decided not to put on a tie and a dress shirt to tell you this story. But that's what I was wearing when this all happened. And my face is enlarging as I get to the screen because I'm going to read this to you. I want you to feel free to just close your eyes if you like. The title of this cuts off. You'll see, when I read it to you, you're going to say, oh, he didn't finish his sentence. <clears throat> it's on purpose. It's, uh, it's interrupted on purpose. So it's called, Hey, I just talked to Keith Rich. I was strolling up the sidewalk. Some stroll down, I stroll up. Just a couple of blocks from the city center in my town of Seattle, Washington, in 1988. I was simply making my way to the bus stop, having finished my shift at the Bank of California, Seattle branch, where I spent seven years trying to forget I was a musician, in an attempt to transform myself into an office robot. But truly, music was my passion and I wanted to rub shoulders with fellow musicians, not bankers. Well, it was a sunny day. It was a routine day. Nothing out of the ordinary, with nothing on the horizon to change that, as far as I knew. And then suddenly, on this otherwise uninhabited sidewalk, I saw the Rolling Stones' Keith Richards, leaning casually against a large tree. He was engaged in a conversation with a rather scruffy but well-mannered dude. Keith himself was wearing a full-length black leather coat, which was probably the most expensive item of apparel I have ever seen a gentleman attired in. He actually looked like a king, but a king who'd lived a very hard life. I mean, his history was written all over his face. I didn't want to intrude, so I hung back a few yards. But I wanted to say hello. So I decided to wait until the two were finished conversing. Well, they had a long talk. I was amazed at the amount of time Mr. Richards gave this person, and impressed. I could hear their talk. It was about, wait for it, the Rolling Stones. The guy obviously knew a great deal about the band. He was certainly a real fan. I stood there, waiting patiently. They eventually wrapped up their visit. When the other fellow walked away, Keith cast his eyes on me. There was literally no one else around. It was Keith and me, period. Two humans. Now, I'm fickle. If this had been George Harrison, who was among the living at that time, or Paul McCartney, I would have been just staggered and speechless. But it was, it was Keith Richards. And although I had a, a first edition tongue and lip design logo patch, 
which I've treasure, treasured since 1971 when mom kindly sewed it onto my jean jacket. I've never been the world's biggest Rolling Stones or Keith Richards fan. But still, I wanted to say something. So when he turned toward me, I simply said, God bless, Keith. He looked me right in the eye and replied in a sincere tone, God bless. I felt like that was all I needed, and I didn't want to take up any more of his time. So giving him a friendly nod and smile, I went on my way. Then it hit me. I'd just shared a blessing with one of the icons of rock and roll, a living legend. Wow. Now, I was used to hanging around some of music's leading lights, including Willie Nelson. I could give other examples. But still, there was only one Rolling Stones and only one Keith Richards. And when this dawned on me, I felt so euphoric, so happy. I wanted to tell someone. As I turned the corner, I saw three people walking in my direction. A very tall, hefty gentleman, a strikingly beautiful woman, and a middle-aged, long-haired guy who was holding her hand. I figured this was my, in my chance to impress someone. So addressing them, I said, Hey, I just talked to Keith Rich. And then I realized that the long-haired guy who, by the way, reminded me very much of a helium balloon. He looked like he would float away if his, if his female companion let go of his hand. Well, I realized that was Ron Wood, the Rolling Stones' own guitar player. I was embarrassed and thrilled at the same time. We all laughed. We did. I strolled along doubly blessed. <laughs> By the way, my artist friend, Winifred Harrison, has made this story into a comic. So I will give you a link down below in the comments to the story itself that's on my WordPress blog. You can look at all the photos and read the story for yourself. And at the very end, you can see Winifred's great comic that she made to memorialize my visit with two of the Rolling Stones. God bless.